In the news, Central African Republic rebel leader bit and maltreated prisoners, ICC prosecutor says. Shock as lawmakers succumbed, gave INEC go ahead to transmit elections electronically. Nine people killed, 11 missing as floods and landslides struck the Philippines on Tuesday. Details coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first pan African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. An international criminal court prosecutor on Tuesday said Mohamed Said Abdel Kain, a former Central African Republic Seleka faction commander, was involved in the beatings and maltreatment of prisoners suspected of supporting ousted President Francois Bouziz. Said faces accusations of war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in 2013. Prosecutors said Said ran two detention centers at the time of the suspected offenses. At the end of the hearings on Wednesday, judges will decide within 60 days of whether or not to confirm some or all of 14 charges against Said, including persecution and torture, and move the case closer to trial. The UN stop court decides Tuesday on a long-running border dispute between Somalia and Kenya. TOS News understands that the court's decision will have potentially far-reaching consequences for bilateral ties and access to natural resources in the oil and gas-rich region. The case was brought in by Somalia more than seven years ago. Kenya has, however, accused the UN's court of bias and announced that it will not recognize the court's binding decision. Mali and Morocco are keen in strengthening their long-time historical relations following the visit of Mali's foreign minister to the North African country. The visiting Malian foreign minister said the new transitional government is seeking allies to help improve its security situation, especially in the north. Since its inception, Mali's transitional government has been pushing for major reforms in the country and also to have a new election as it also fights the jihadists in the north. The country has also cried foul over external influence in the war against insurgency. With just three weeks before the COP26, the climate conference in Glasgow, Scotland, and indigenous leader of the Amazon basin Gregorio Mirabal have appealed to the developed nations to help protect the rainforest from further destruction. Mirabal, who is the coordinator of the indigenous organization of the Amazon River Basin, warned that raining the rainforest could spark a global disaster. He announced the general lack of political will to guard the rainforest from further exploitation and appealed for help in order to protect the 8.4 million square kilometers of the Amazon. A non-governmental organization and a human rights organization, the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, Transparency International and Premium Thai Center for Domesticated Journalism, on Monday, at a press conference in the nation's capital city, Abuja, faulted the calmness of President Muhammad Buhari over the leaked Pandora paper scandal, describing it as worrisome. While briefing the media, the executive director of CISLAC, Awal Musarov Sanjani, said, the papers uncovered dealings by politicians, billionaires, influential individuals and their enablers globally. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360, national global business and sports stories on return. Stay with us. Welcome back. The Senate on Tuesday passed the bill to squash its decision which subjected the Independent National Electoral Commission to seek approval from the Nigerian Communications Commission before it could transmit elections results electronically. The upper chamber also voted in support of the conduct of party primaries only by direct method. The Senate had in July, during consideration of a report on 2010 Electoral Act Bill 2021 submitted by its committee on INEC, amended Clause 52-3 as recommended. According to the Executive Director of the Prisoners' Rehabilitation and Welfare Action, Ogechi Ugu, the increasing concerns of a rising wave of crime, armed conflict and inability of security actors to provide adequate protection of lives and property are the major reasons for the proliferation of private security companies in the ECOWAS region. Ugu stated these at a workshop on validation of baseline study of private security regulation in the ECOWAS region, championed by the Prisoners' Rehabilitation and Welfare Action this Tuesday in Abuja. Nine people have been reportedly killed in the Philippines and 11 were missing on Tuesday due to floods and landslides 
caused by heavy rain from tropical cyclone Kompasu, the National Disaster Agency said. Kompasu, with maximum sustained winds of 100 km per hour, had observed remnants of an earlier cyclone before making landfall in the Philippines on Monday evening. Nearly 1,600 people were evacuated. The disaster agency said it was verifying information from its regional unit that reported four people killed in landslides in northern Benguet province and five killed in flash floods in Palawan, an island province in the country's southwest. The president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Akimu Miyadeshina, has urged the federal government to tackle debt challenges as debt service costs and poor foreign exchange policies are the major hindrances to the economic growth of the country. He stated these during the mid-term ministerial performance review retreat, which was held virtually and physically on Monday at the presidential villa. Talking sports, Germany became the first country to qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar on Monday, with Timo Werner scoring twice in a 4-0 win away to North Macedonia. The fifth victory in five matches under new coach Hansi Flick, matching the record of predecessor Joachim Liu, has given Germany an unassailable lead at the top of Group J. Germany dominated throughout against the side, who inflicted only a third ever World Cup qualifying defeat against them at home in March. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first pan African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Many thanks for watching.